So now I want to examine how this colony is, if it needs treatment or if it's healthy. Let's check, check them out. Oh, this is a nice colony. Lots of, lots of bees up here. So we're going to put those supers on, on the side here. There's a smell of heather honey. It's late, beginning of September, central part of Sweden. So the heather is finished. This box is about 20 kilos. Wow. Actually, this colony was rather hit by or hurt by Varva last year. They were requeened and treated. And this year they have behaved absolutely magnificent. There is about 25 kilos in this jar, in this box as well. We are going down to the brood chamber. Remove the, the queen excluder. Very calm and nice colony. This queen is a Absolutely astonishing. Very nice production. Very nice temperament. For now. Okay. Now we are down in the in the brood chamber. So I pick a frame. Please watch the behavior where the bees sink down between the frames. You can easily get it up. And here you can see a nice brood pattern. It's late in the season, but she has still been laying for now. This frame is very light. The bees move gently. This will be nice to analyze for Varroa. So I put it on the stand here. Bring out the app. And I take, let's wait, I want to record this. So now I want to record to show you how we take the, the images. Here are rather few bees, but I take an image here, one here, one here, and a fourth one here. Then I swing the frame around. And we take four new pictures here. One here, one there, one there, and one there. So now we are done with that frame. We bring up a new one. Put this one aside for now. A 
I bring a new frame. This is also very nice. You can see that. And lots of pollen. Let me check this one as well. I take a picture here. One here. One here. And the fourth there. And we swing it around. Försök att undvika att fosta med din vänstra hand. Fosta mer med bara höger handen om du kan. Okej. Okay. Take one image here. So it's fifth there. Another one here. And the last one here. Now we got in total 16 images. And that would be sufficient to send for analyze. I like to put this back to not chill it. It's a little bit chilly in the wind. Um, we want to put this down to get them back into the warmth. You know, there is uh, almost 35 degrees warmth here. 34.7 actually. Um, we let them down here. So. I'm going to put um, a board on here. We will empty this colony from and harvest the honey. So I put this board on and I use double screens. So two on here. And once the bees feel they are disconnected from the queen, they will move down to join the queen in the bottom, just while we pack this colony down, we can send this for analyze. I press done, and I have a collection of images I can send for analyze. It now goes to the server. It's on Amazon. And once the images upload, you can follow the process. We are on 4G now, so it goes rather fast. Four, five continues, six, and so on. And when the images are all uploaded, the artificial intelligence starts to look for objects, that is, varva parasites on the, my, on the bees. And it also, after that, counts how many bees there are in the images and makes a quota out of the ratio between parasites and the number of bees. So we now have uploaded 13 out of 16. I didn't mention that, but the, the important thing is to have enough bees in the images, not how many images actually, but we recommend about 3,000 bees in the images. And you can reach that with about 10 to 12 images if there are 250 bees in each image. Now you see it's analyzing, counting bees, and soon the result will come. I hope they have no varroa. This is what takes most of the time to actually to count bees in every image. It takes a few seconds. And uh, I could have packed the colony down waiting for this. Oh, here is a says it infestation level uh, 0 0.5 about and uh, depending on the time of season and your treat and if you have treated them this may be okay note the colony for further evaluation okay got it and then you can get into the to the app and check in a certain image where the AI has depicted an avarua and then you can validate if that is actually true well, I'd say that's, that's with high probability a varroa sitting just close to the, to the thorax on the abdomen. Can you see the brown? It's a, it would be like 80% probability that this is a varroa. And you also can see the quality. You can watch if there are any missed objects. 
if you're not satisfied with this result you can click it and uh, report and this is very important to us if you click here false b with varua you help us to make the ai perform better next time and okay so you can go back here you can see the infestation level here is the last analyze we've done now and now here you can see i have done previous examinations during the season and it has been okay for the most for the for all the season so this is a very nice colony and just look how beautifully they sit calmly i close here and i close the the colony thank you put this up